All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to the presentation of a Bladebridge converter. In today's session, I'll demonstrate how to convert Pentaho code into PySpark. This is a sample job that I'll be converting. It has several types of components. It has a source, several formulas, a filter, uh, sorting component, aggregation, and uh, three targets. The converter I'll be using is called Pentaho to PySpark. And if I run the converter at the command line, it will give me a short help. As a general note, all of our converters are command line based and they are distributed for Windows and Linux. In order to run the converter, I need to provide a full set of command line switches which includes the license key file, either a single Pentaho file with a minus I switch or a minus D switch pointing to a folder, the output folder with a minus O switch, the code generation language, so it could be SQL, could be PySpark, and the configuration file provided with a minus U switch. The configuration file is important as it drives how the converter will behave. And as a general rule, our converters are highly configurable, and configurations usually sit in externalized uh, JSON config files. So in order to execute the converter, this is going to be my command. So I'm providing a license key file, an input file, the output folder, the language in which I want to generate the code, and the configuration file name. My input file looks like this. It's basically an XML-based metadata file representing the Pentaho job. My output folder is currently empty. And when I run the converter, the converter will produce a Python file that has the direct translation of the Pentaho job. I'm going to go ahead and open up this file. Okay. Now we'll do side-by-side -side comparison of the contents of this file and the Pentaho job. The way the converter works, it traverses the entire pipeline from source to target and it replicates the functionality of each component individually. It also optionally produces annotations in the generated code so we know how to correlate each instruction and each command in the resulting file with the original job. So for example, here we have a line that indicates that, that we are processing the source component. And the converter picks up specifications such as the path, separator, and the header. And if I open up the Pentaho component, I'll see all the attributes of this component replicated. Going forward, the next component is of type filter, and it's this component. The filtering component in Pentaho has three conditions, which got replicated in the resulting Python code. Another component is of type transformation. It's called miscellaneous changes, and it's this component. So it has one computation, which got translated into this expression. So we're applying with column function call and using regex replace function to replicate the functionality of this formula. So the converter will change the function calls. It will change certain keywords. Uh, it will change function signatures if needed. And it's all based on the configuration file entries, which I'm going to go into in a couple of minutes. Now, one of the things that's worth mentioning is that the converter adds select star to some of the components. And the reason it does that is because with some of the Pintao components, it is implied that the columns get propagated from the upstream node through the current node and just adding some more transformation. So this is the reason why the converter adding the select star. Uh, moving on to other transformations. So there's another calculation transformation. It has a couple of formulas in here. And this is what the converter will do. It will 
convert the expressions, it will plug in the keywords for PySpark, call, and lit, just to make the code compatible with PySpark. And then at the end, the converter will pick up the target components and will and will generate the instructions in PySpark to write the data into target tables or target files. The same will happen for other types of uh, components. So for example, we have sorting and, and aggregation components. Sorting is done on a couple of columns here. And then aggregation is done on these two columns and the record counts are output for each group. So the converter will take those instructions and will translate them into corresponding PySpark instructions for sorting and aggregations. And then at the end, it will pick up the final component and will generate the code to write the data into the final table. As I mentioned earlier, one of the things that drives the converter behavior is the configuration file. On our command line, I specified this configuration file, Pentaho to PySpark main. This is the content of this configuration file. It basically tells the converter how to put together different parts of the generated code. For example, we can provide the extension that the converter will assign to the generated code, the header that will get produced within the generated file, the footer, uh, the reader and writer commands. So we can create classifications of different source and target platforms, for example, for Oracle, DB2, flat files, etc., and then associate different commands with different types of systems. You can specify what type of comment you want to have within the generated code. And one of the things that we also specify is how to convert Pentaho language into PySpark. So I'm going to open up a demo file that has language translation specifications, which is this one. And in here, we'll see specifications that tell the converter how to apply line substitutions or function substitutions and many other types of replacements and syntax changes that would be applicable. And to recap what we did in this session, we took a Pentaho job that has several types of components, ran the converter from command line, and converted the job into PySpark code that is functionally equivalent to the Pentaho job. And this concludes today's session. Thank you for listening in.